In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to use keyframes in relationship to opacity, which controls the transparency of an item on your screen. I have a, an image, a static image of a red cap. I will drag down and leave it in track number one, and I'll have it running for about uh, well, roughly 20 seconds or so. Now let's assume that we want to change the opacity or the transparency of this object. I'll double click on the picture of the cap. It will pop it up in the middle of the screen. And then on the third scale down, I have opacity. Whenever I click on the diamond, it will add or remove the keyframe at the position of the playhead or the scrubber and it defaults at the end of my clip I'm going to move it to the beginning we'll move it to the beginning and I'll click on opacity now at this moment in time it sets an opacity equal to the default which is 100 percent I click on my properties tab my objects settings I see opacity is now set to 100 so it's fully opaque, zero transparency. I want to move forward in my time frame for the object. I'll click anywhere else I want to go. And then I will change the opacity. Let's make it uh, about 59%. And immediately it adds a keyframe at that moment in time. I can move the scrubber or timeline further along. And then I can make it even less opaque. I can knock it down to 22%. And then I can go ahead and the next keyframe in my object and make it zero. So it's still there, but it's totally transparent. So when I go to play this clip, I can click on my preview screen and it stays at uh, full capacity and opacity and then it shrinks down one step a second step and finally to nothing now it's still there it's just invisible if I want to take out these two immediate steps all I need to do is click on the diamond with the right uh, right mouse button Oop, I have to get out of play mode here preview mode click here with the right mouse button I can do remove keyframe I can click on this one and I can remove it as well. And then it will move from 100% over here. If I click on the keyframe and I can look back here. And I'll click on this one. And this one is set to zero. And it will go from maximum to minimum. Oop, I need to start at the beginning here. There we go. Now I'll start my preview window again. And it slowly fades from 100% opaque to 100% uh, transparent. And of course you could recover, you could uh, enter another one, uh, another keyframe to the right, and I can right click and I can add keyframe. Um, but now if I'm adding it, it adopts the setting I had before, which was zero. So I'll take that keyframe and jump it back up to 100. And now if I, now this has been reassigned to 100%. And so between these two place, two spots in my timeline, it will shrink down to nothing, and then it will pop back up quickly to 100%.